OK, well, we did see more clouds across the region today. Also, more of that cooler air mass in place. Doesn't look like we've gotten our way out of the 30s. A few of us in the lower 40s, but it has been a chilly afternoon, especially as, since we have seen the clouds that has kept things a little cooler for us. And you'll see uh, some areas of moisture, rain and snow showing up. N this really not reaching the ground right now, and it looks like uh, we should be mostly dry as we head throughout the overnight and most of tomorrow before this does begin to fill in and we'll see more of that heading into tomorrow night and then also by Saturday. Here's a look at your current condition. We are at 39 degrees south winds at 16 miles per hour, but we are mostly sunny. A little breezy out there for us, but here are a look at your temperatures 39 and Marquette and conditions are a little warmer as you get away from uh, the effects of that southerly wind coming off Lake Michigan. So at 45 in Crystal Falls, warmer as you go over to Ironwood at 52 degrees farther to the north, though, at 39 in Altanagan and 38 in Houghton and off to the east where you do have all that wind coming off Lake Michigan, 36 degrees in Manistique at 36 in Munising and 37 curling in Escanaba. Your current winds are coming in from that south direction, 19 in Munising, 13 for us currently in Escanaba and at 13 in Iron Mountain. And across the state, seeing more of the 30s as you get closer to the shorelines around here of Lake Huron, 38 in Alpena, 37 in Oscoda and 40s as you go farther to the west right here in Manistee at 46 degrees. But temperatures, they're going to warm up for us all across the state as we head into tomorrow afternoon as it looks like mild air will return once again for the region. Great Lakes, we have seen the clouds come in and we'll continue to see more of the clouds as we head into the overnight as low pressure slowly but surely slips its way into the region, but that will bring us a milder air mass as we head into Friday, expecting temperatures to be back in the upper 40s and a lot of us will be back in the 50s as opposed to just ironwood like we saw today. And then we'll be looking out for a slight chance of a wintry mix heading into tomorrow night and also into early Saturday morning. And what is going to happen here? It looks like there will be spotty showers, not going to see a widespread ice event or either a widespread snow event. It looks to be very limited with moisture yet again, and then that will push out of here quickly. And by Sunday, things get a lot better for us. But this is what we're dealing with. Area of low pressure beginning to work its way southeastward, and that's what's going to bring in more of that moisture as we head into the late evening by tomorrow. But throughout the majority of the day, expecting skies to stay dry for us. We are going to be cloudy, but uh, we are going to notice by tomorrow evening seeing more of the rain showers push in just some scattered isolated showers and then staying light as we head into the overnight before switching over to a mixture between rain and snow and then all snow by Saturday morning here. We'll take a look at that on our future cast model. You'll see mostly cloudy conditions throughout the overnight, not seeing much, but then as we head into the evening right here into uh, Friday, seeing more of those showers beginning to pick up for us very light stuff and that pushes through uh, that will be out of here as we go into Saturday morning and after that just cloudy skies for through most of the day on Saturday before starting to clear out Saturday night and going into Sunday. A few clouds expected for us as well. We'll drop down to 34 degrees becoming overcast. South winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So still seeing those breezy conditions heading into Friday, mostly cloudy and milder with southwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And since we'll see that wind direction from the southwest, we're going to get temperatures to warm up a bit for us a little more at 56 in Crystal Falls, 50 degrees and to Noggin, more of the middle 40s and Lance at 46 degrees, 48 in Escanaba, upper 40s in Munising, and we'll top off at 49 in Marquette. Your bus stop forecast tomorrow morning, it will be a breezy one for us with temperatures in the middle 30s. That will cause things to be a little chilly for the kids. So have that uh, jacket jacket ready for them before they head out. South winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour and heading into their seven day forecast. Upper 40s for us on Friday, but cooling off once again, heading into Sunday with a high of 36. But it does look like most of the moisture should be getting to head out of here as we'll see most of it during the overnight hours on Friday and heading to early Saturday morning. But by Sunday, seeing plenty of sunshine yet again, temperatures rebound back to 45 degrees and we'll stay mostly clear on into next Monday and also into next Tuesday.